It all starts with prehistory. One day, a thousand years ago, spatial fissures began to open on the earth, from which all sorts of evil spirits emerged in flocks. These monsters call themselves giants, not a single human weapon could withstand them, and after ten years, only one hundred million people remained on earth. The human race was on the verge of death. But a miracle happened, a ray of hope appeared, a master of animal spirits, he gave people faith that they could win. With each new generation of masters, humanity revived civilization step by step and was able to get a chance to defeat the monsters. And this is Lin Yuan, the best assassin of the resistance, and he was killed. But after death he moved to a dimension where monsters live quietly, becoming the weakest E-rank beast spirit. Lin will not continue fighting alone. Xiao Hei Long becomes his assistant. From now on he will accompany Yuan and monitor his development, becoming much stronger over time. The hero had never heard that an E-rank spirit could not evolve beyond its rank, so he decided to do everything to become the greatest. In the past, the hero was called the wolf. He worked well for the benefit of the organization, but he knew too much, so the order was given to kill him. Or there was an explosion and Lin died. At least that's what he thought himself. But suddenly, Lin finds himself in a place he doesn't understand, because he just died from an explosion. The hero has a terrible headache. As if he was shell-shocked, it seems that something has damaged his brain. From this moment the whole story begins, with an ordinary guy Lin, his soul is a beast of the lowest E rank. In class, Lin was bullied by his classmates, it was disgusting for them that such a weakling was studying in the same class with them. The hero is humiliated whenever they want, he is considered a piece of garbage that the world mercilessly threw away. Since Lin is here after the explosion, doesn't it mean that God simply took pity on him because he was brutally killed in his previous life? In front of him, Lin saw something similar to himself, as if that guy was his copy. The hero tried to get up, but for some reason he could not move. At that moment his copy said that if the world is really so cruel, then let him leave everything as it is. It's kind of sad to just leave like that. Doesn't Lin's real body want to take revenge for everything? But here's the problem. The real Lin is dead and in his body there is only a pathetic kid who took over his body. Being pitiful does not mean being weak. Lin wondered whether he should continue to live in order to die after another betrayal. It hurts the hero that he couldn't choose, but now he will live by his own rules and no one can tell him. He is ready to prove not only that even the scum have the right to reach the top, but also that he can prove to the world that fate is in his hands. The true body considers the stranger strange, but it believes in him. He is obliged to take revenge, because from this day on he is Lin Yuan. In response, the hero promised that he would do everything in his power and capabilities. It will be hard for Lin, he doesn't yet understand how, because the owners of E-rank beasts only do low-paid work, somehow surviving in this world. In this case, there is a sure way Lin will declare himself and become a killer again. Suddenly, the hero mastered the system of evolution of animals a black lizard with a bite attack and a claw strike. This animal's name is Xiao Hei Long. From now on he will accompany and watch the growth of the hero's strength. Without getting to know each other completely, Lin went in search of adventure. He was obliged to close one important matter. The girl Su Mu Shui. In the past the hero liked her, or at least he just tried to look after her and attract his attention. At the moment, the guy invites the girl to become his bride but what he generally thinks of himself cannot be achieved with the flowers of the heart and hand alone. You need to achieve it through actions. But this is a different world, and their understanding everything is measured only by animals, their ranks and nothing more. The guy found a way to attract attention. He seemed to have forgotten and decided to remind him that he had screwed up the trash named Lin. The girl suddenly became indignant at how he even dared to touch him which means that between her and Lin not everything is as bad as it might seem. Before the groom had time to daydream, someone ran through his guard at incredible speed. It was Lin. Now everything became clear about what a very important matter he was talking about, revenge for the past. As soon as the guard started running towards the hero, he jumped away from the romantic, putting him face down in the asphalt. How weak is the guy that instead of dealing with Lin like a man one-on-one, -on -one, he hides behind security? wiping his snot. The security turned out to be not as simple as one might think. They turned into animals. Lin hoped that his assistant would be able to turn into a huge evil carcass. But she was just an ordinary lizard. As it became clear, transformation was not necessary to win. 
The animal is in real shock, because Lin is not going to transform, he is ready to expose himself to attack in a human body. As soon as the guy gave the command to the guards, he was already confident of victory, that they would finally tear the hero to pieces. Lin, in turn, was not going to bother with these pitiful animals for long and defeated the B-rank beast with his bare hands. The animal is very proud of its owner, for the fact that Lin killed such a heavy animal, he is entitled to a black iron chest. The chest may contain useful things, such as super equipment or banal points for leveling up skills. Lin experienced real luck, he got the A-rank skill of daylight. When the soul of the beast is activated, the hero will be able to emit white light that can melt even steel, its temperature is 100,000 degrees Celsius. But now is not the right time to celebrate. In addition to the defeated beast, there are still others left. The guy promised his guards as much as 10 million for Lin's head. The girl also didn't just stand on the sidelines, she was ready to call upon the animals and help. But Lin sent her to hide somewhere far away. The hero cannot allow her to be harmed, because she is one of the few who is so kind and sweet to him. Even if the body is weak, Lin still copes and wins over the worthless animal. There is still a little time left. The next victory for the hero results in a reward in the form of a treasure chest made of black iron. The animals could not even think that such a weak-looking guy would be able to deal a crushing blow to two opponents at once. The time has come to give up to the guy who tried so hard to get the girl. All his security has been destroyed, and he can only give up. The guy tries to ask for forgiveness from Lin, admits that he was wrong, but it's too late, and this process cannot be reversed. Shui is amazed by Lin's strength and courage. In the past he would never have done this. He could only give up and retreat. But now everything is different. Lin will no longer be the same. The girl is very ashamed. Because she, as an S-rank beast master, had to protect Lin herself. But nevertheless the hero saved her. Shui didn't even think that Lin was so strong. Doesn't understand what's wrong with Shui's face. She looks at him very strangely. But as soon as he noticed it, she immediately became shy. Shui behaves this way because she doesn't know how to thank her for saving her from that preoccupied guy who didn't give her a pass. Lin replied that this is normal, because they are classmates and should help each other. But what kind of classmates they are? Only Lin thinks so. In fact they are friends who from now on will be like Yin and Yang. The lizard saw everything and is very happy for them. But Lin thinks all this differently. She is one of the friends of the original owner of the body. If Shui now belongs to Lin, then he will naturally have to protect. Upon arriving at his home, the hero activated the soul of the beast, not knowing what kind of surprise would await him. The lizard is trying to hold back his laughter at what he saw. The spirit of this beast in the world of monsters is, at most, a snack. The animal decided to give advice that from now on the hero can absorb souls and earn exaltation points, and use them to strengthen himself. The hero's assistant offers to eat meat for the owner, so animal souls are as ordinary as animals. In order to become stronger and maintain shape, you need to eat raw meat. The spirit is simply in shock. He will have to eat raw chicken, which is 15 times larger, not only of himself, but of his stomach. Still, the spirit did not stand on ceremony for long and attack the merciless chicken to become stronger. The chicken is already in the stomach. A little more and the stomach will definitely burst. Five points are awarded for eating raw meat. The activation was successful and now the beast looks much more threatening than it did before. He ate and blinked. Now meat must be consumed every day and in large quantities. So the hero decided that tonight he would have a meat party. The result the next day is simply amazing. The hero ate about 100 rabbits and grew to an incredible size. Lin didn't even think that his talent would increase along with his level. After several days, Lin no longer considers himself insignificant. But this is still not enough for him, so the hero intends to become even bigger, but he will just have to look for a secluded place. This is Lin, the new Lin, he has been reborn and is ready to climb to the top of this world. Lin shouted from the crowd, it was Li Foam, this bastard often bullied the hero, it's not clear why they behave like the last assholes. It turns out everything is simple, among the bullies company there is a master of one of the two S-rank animal souls in the school. How wrong they are for treating Lin this way. Because in their opinion it should be an honor for a hero that people like them allow something to be done for them. The hero will no longer tolerate bullying and made it clear to them to get the hell out of here. The bully again offended Lin, calling him trash. How could such a disgrace with the weakest animal soul still burn with shame in this school? 
Lin interrupts him and says that, unfortunately, the hero plans to live happily ever after, to which the bully threatened to change his mind. Class teacher Zhang Yez entered the classroom and asked all the students to take their seats. The lizard was surprised at the hero's calmness when this hypocritical, arrogant guy tried to be rude to him. Sooner or later Lin will finish him off. From these words the hero himself is in shock. He said such ruthless words in a calm tone. Apparently, not many times does a hero become a master. In today's lesson, the class teacher will distribute school cultivation resources, the so-called beast soul crystals. Beast soul crystals are the transformed blood and flesh of a monster after its death, usually divided into high, medium, low, and worse ranks. The lizard says that they contain enormous energy inside, which is suitable for absorbing the souls of animals, which can significantly enhance their abilities. Principal Zhang warned that the school would distribute the beast soul crystals according to the ranking of awakened beast souls. It turns out that the strong are at the top, the weak are eliminated, only the strongest survive. This is the greatest justice in the world of soul masters. That same badass, Wu Mo Xian, gets 10 crystals for his awakened beast soul being an s rank skeleton reptile king. The teacher warned him that even though he had climbed so high, he should never relax. With his talent he could become the master of the animal soul. It's the hero's turn. He receives five soul crystals of the worst rank. Around the others began to laugh at Lin. They think that it is easier for the hero to go to work as a builder than to be with such a useless animal soul. The lizard said in his ear that lower soul crystals are formed when monsters are destroyed by nuclear weapons, and their flesh and blood after death are contaminated with nuclear radiation, but at the same time contain enormous energy. The leader did not remain indifferent and gave Lin a high-level animal soul crystal from herself. In response, Lin asked to replace it with a lower rank crystal, but the teacher said that the hero was in too much of a hurry to increase the power of the beast soul. The lizard says that the cost of a high-quality soul crystal is 10,000, but the lowest rank is only 100 coins. All this the lizard says is that Lin can exchange his crystal for a hundred lower ones. As soon as Lin agreed to go as a lizard after school and accomplish his plan, Shui comes in and invites him to visit him after school for an important conversation. While Lin had a nice conversation with Shui, the others were drooling and jealous. Because why would such a beauty, an S-level owner, hang out with such trash? The bully is incredibly angry because he doesn't understand that first the teacher is so kind to Lin, and now the beautiful student Shui is cooing cutely with the trash. In the evening after school, the hero was stopped by a group led by Xian. He does not understand what fake potion Lin mixed with the teacher, and what means he used to get closer to Shui. And then the whole truth is revealed. It was Xian who set up everything with the rich guy's attack on Shui so that he would intervene and become a hero. But not garbage. It turns out that he was the one who killed Lin in the past. Xian is too arrogant. Without asking Shui's opinion, he believes that she is more suitable for him, a true talent, than for the worthless weakling Lin. The bully threatened the hero not to see the girl again and ran away in fear, his heels flashing when he saw Xian. Lin would have easily started a fight, but he didn't do it at school because he would be punished and he didn't want to set up the teacher, who was so kind to the hero. Lin replied that he did not want and would not listen to his nonsense. But Xian decided to do a favor so that the teacher would not think that he was only able to intimidate the weak. And suddenly the bully had the idea to test Lin. If he can pass through the seven-day test of the beast, then Xian will eat a bag of lower crystals. But if Lin loses, he will be obliged to disappear from the bully's eyes. Lin agreed without hesitation. Is Xian so confident in such a large bet? It's in vain that he underestimates the hero in advance. After the argument, Lin ran to meet Xue. Although he was late, he still wanted to see her. She didn't want anything special from Lin since she has an S-rank animal soul and the school gave her ten high-quality crystals. So she wants to share half of the crystals with the hero, but Lin himself decided to refuse for some reason. Shui does not understand why Lin is doing this. The difficulty of testing the beast is not a joke and it would be better for the hero to accept the gift. Lin doubts Shui's strength, whether he can pass the test without half the crystals, but he doesn't appreciate her enough, the girl can handle it anyway because she has an S-rank. The hero nevertheless agreed to the girl's proposal, but on condition that they were able to pass the test. Lin can't wait until the day of the test to shock the girl with his strength. The lizard led Lin to the palace of the beast soul. It is intended only for masters, 
and it is in that place that the test of the beast will take place. When the hero invited the seller to exchange his high-quality crystal for low-quality ones, he was simply shocked by the exchange for garbage. Hundreds of low-quality crystals are ready. The commission fee costs 500 coins. Lin and his assistant came to an abandoned warehouse outside the city. The hero successfully swallowed nuclear radiation and received 1,000 evolution points. The last time he ate chicken, it gave only 5 points, and for absorbing low-quality crystals he was awarded as many as 1,000 points. Each beast level is divided into 9 stars. The current hero's beast level is already 7 stars, so you can breathe out and not think about the bad outcome of the test. A week later, the day of testing the beast arrived. Everyone is worried because many only have four stars. They only believe in two disciples, Xian and Shui, since they are the only ones with maximum stars. Xian met Lin and began to grin at the hero. Whether his lizard was able to achieve at least one star from the stone that the teacher gave him. But the bully doesn't know much. Lin asked if Xian was ready. But the answer was not the one the hero was waiting for. Whether the bully was ready to eat a bag of low-quality crystals. No one expected such insolence from the hero. Everyone considered him crazy, because the Xian beast has eight stars. The long-awaited moment began. The leader asked all the students to take their identity card and entrance ticket with them. Xian, even now, can't calm down. He can't wait for Lin to fail the test. It was Lin's turn for the exam. He was asked to prepare for the exam itself. But he did not need any preparation, since he believed in himself and his strength. Although the teacher wished the hero good luck in the exam, he still does not believe in successfully passing the test. Lin finds himself stranded in a barren desert, and worries that he has no terrain advantages to take advantage of. The opponent of the first stage was a three-star battle beast, the Desert Wolf. The lizard wondered why Lin was not going to get angry with the beast's soul, to which the hero replied that this was not necessary against such low-level beasts. One of the teachers was shocked that such a weak guy could pass the first level with incredible ease. None of the teachers can understand how such a guy is able to kill a three-star desert wolf without using the power of the beast's soul. The teachers simply can't believe their eyes anymore. This is an unprecedented miracle that has never happened. The purpose of the exam is to test the strength of the animal's soul, and Lin fights with his bare hands. The examiners understand that this is against all the rules, but is not cheating, the first two stages are designed to adapt to the rhythm in real combat, and the third stage is the final one. The lizard asked the hero to save his strength, because this stage was only an appetizer, the real test lay ahead. So Lin met an opponent more serious than the previous one, the six-star king of the desert wolves. To defeat a beast of this level, you will need a corresponding level of beast soul talent. Finally, the time has come when the hero needs to activate the merger with the animal soul. The lizard is happy for Lin, he has successfully reached a higher level. This will be a new beginning for him. The teachers are already doubting their inspection competence, because the hero was given an E-rank, but in reality it is much higher. Such a gigantic beast must be at least a general rank. Only a few days have passed since the beast was activated, and it already has an S-rank, even an SSS rank. All the teachers raise the alarm because Lin, with the help of his beast, managed to defeat the six-star beast in one second with one paw. One of the teachers ran to report the situation to the chief examiner and asked the other teacher to continue recording the data. They have never met such a teacher in their lives. Right now they are watching the fight of a shocking super talent. The Lin Beast is so humble that he is already disappointed in the degree of difficulty of the exam. The lizard tells Lin that the first three levels are needed in order to get a passing score. The hero needs to continue the fight in order to get a higher score. A pack of wolves stubbornly attacks the Lin Beast in a crowd, but it doesn't matter to him, he doesn't feel them and easily demolishes one after another. The chief examiner arrived at the place and does not understand why there is such a rush, because the observers understand perfectly well that under no circumstances should they leave the examination area without permission. Out of breath, one of the teachers tries to explain to the examiner what is happening here because the test subject's indicators are off the charts. Although the teacher told the examiner that Lin's talent rating did not correspond to the strength he demonstrated, the examiner said that this was not unusual because many people exceed their capabilities during combat. But once the examiner was informed that Lin only had an E-rank, he was shocked that the hero dared to participate in testing a beast with such little talent. For the examiner, this was not enough, 
How could the teacher dare to leave his workplace and call him for the sake of a student who had awakened the E-rank beast's power? But the examiner did not even see the battle itself. As soon as the chief examiner saw the size of the beast, Lin was in an incomprehensible shock. He could not believe his eyes that the hero had an E-rank. The entire headquarters is confident that Lin has at least the rank of general, but not E-rank, because now he is at the last tenth stage, where every wolf has seven-star strength. If Lin manages to pass the last stage, then the best universities, without exception, will begin to fight for him. The teachers are amazed by the examiner's words. He believes that the Lin beast is capable of becoming an emperor rank beast soul. Beast Lin has gone through so many stages, defeating many beasts. But even at the difficult last stage he considers the exam boring, because there are only ten pitiful desert wolves. He doesn't care how many wolves attack him. All of them are just scum and rubbish for the beast. The observer headquarters is still watching the battle with interest. The examiner said that if this is really the talent of an E-rank beast, he will go and commit suicide. The attack, defense, speed and explosive power are at an ideal level. This is really a reason to rub the nose of the bully who so confidently believed that Lin would not be able to pass even the first stage. Seeing the technique of the Lin beast, the teachers are more and more surprised with each of its movements. With one blow, the beast demolishes all its opponents and successfully passes all stages of the beast's test. For Lin, the test of the beast turned out to be easier than he expected. Since the hero passed the last level, then he was definitely guaranteed a good grade. After all, even the bully Xian with his s rank talent would definitely not be able to surpass Lin. Lin wants to take this opportunity to let all universities see that even an E-rank beast soul can have tremendous power. The teachers are horrified by such a talent of power, because Lin, at the age of 18, less than two weeks before awakening the beast's power, managed to reach the rank of a three-star beast general. Lin returned from the exam and the examiner immediately began to praise and congratulate the hero for his demonstrated battle. Now all the universities in the city would compete for the hero. Lin was told that the results would be posted this afternoon. The hero was about to leave, but the examiner left him. He can't understand why the Lin Beast's talent is only E-rank. If there are any problems, the hero can easily turn. The hero explained everything by saying that his animal soul was indeed weak during his awakening, so he was assigned an E-rank. The examiner believes that after achieving impressive results, the hero did not behave arrogantly, which is very commendable, so that in the future there will be another Beast Soul Master with tremendous strength. After the exam, Shuan met Lin, she ran up to him, the hero asked how her exam went. She passed the exam with good marks, passing nine levels, while Lin passed all ten levels. It's clear from the girl's excited face that she wants to ask how Lin's exam went, but she doesn't know how, because she knows that E-rankers can barely pass level one. The hero was not taken aback and asked not to think about grades, because the exam had already passed, so he called Shua for dinner to celebrate her success. The girl, of course, agreed to a large plate of noodles. The girl was incredibly hungry, which is why she hurried Lin so much. An hour later, Xian showed up, he completed seven levels, exactly the same result as last year's winner. But this year there will be a new star, Lin. All the students in the area began to discuss Xian. His S-rank B soul talent terrifies everyone. With this result he will be able to enter one of the best universities. The bully studied hard for the exam in order to surprise everyone, he even asked his parents to buy an expensive pill in order to maximize the potential of the animal soul in a short time. Xian wonders why he doesn't see Lin anywhere, thinking that he is hiding somewhere after his defeat. A gang of bullies calls the hero ridiculous. If they were in Lin's place, they wouldn't have dared to say a word and would have long ago hidden themselves in the ground in shame. Xian so stubbornly believes that Lin was simply afraid to come and will now remain a coward for the rest of his life but how surprised they will be when they see the results of Lin and his bestial soul. At that moment, Lin and Shui just arrived. The hero understood that the restaurant was far away, but the girl really wanted to eat there. Nothing bad happened and they were not late for the announcement of the results. Xian is incredibly angry that Lin dared to appear in front of the bully and with the girl Shui. Xian's company noticed Lin's calmness because he is confident of a good grade after the exam but they think differently that it was difficult for the hero to pass even first level. Lin scoffs at their stupidity. The fact that E-Rank found the courage to participate in the exam is already very good. 
The bully reminded the hero about their argument so that Lin would not forget what wish he would fulfill. But this definitely won't happen, and soon everyone will understand why. Lin is very grateful to the bully for reminding him of the argument, because the hero had already forgotten about it. The long-awaited moment has come, the lists have been posted, and the results for the exam have been announced. All students are more worried not about themselves, but about who will still be in first place. Xian was overjoyed ahead of time and started calling himself a champion until he saw that he was in third place on the exam results table. In second place was Xue. The bully never expected that her talent would be higher than his. But if a girl has completed nine levels and is only in second place, then who can be in first place? Xian became worried. The bully was speechless and almost began to faint. He saw the student in first place. It turned out to be Lin Yuan. The students stopped paying attention to Xian. They don't understand who Lin is, but they definitely understand that he is a real beast, since he was able to complete 10 out of 10 levels. The bully has had his worst dream come true. Everyone around him considers him a disgrace, who, before the results were announced, turned up his nose the most, but in reality ended up in a pitiful third place. Lin began to put pressure on the patient. He warned the bully that he should not write off the hero ahead of time. Now it's time for Xian to fulfill the terms of the dispute. The hero laughs and asks the bully whether he prefers to eat the inferior crystals dry or served with seasoning. Girl Shui now began to understand why Lin was not surprised by her results. Because his rating was much higher than the girl. The bully is in a furious rage. He does not understand how such a trash as Lin with E-rank could get such a high result. With his crazy behavior, Xian misled the rest of the student. Now they also doubt Lin's fair passing of the exam. Everyone pounced on Lin and began to choke him with questions about his passing the exam. But the hero would never have thought of acting so mediocrely. Xian will be completely sure of Lin's cheating, because the hero has an E-rank B soul. The bully believes that in an honest way the hero would never be able to pass the 10 levels of the beast test. The students were surprised that the first place has an E-rank B soul, the most lame of all the ranks. They are not able to understand everything that is happening. Lin deliberately poisons the bully with the fact that not a single reference book says that an E-rank cannot complete the exam with 10 levels passed, for which the bully threatened to file an application with the palace court. The lizard explained everything to the hero. If candidates have doubts about the assessment, they can go to court, but the meeting is rarely held because of other people's assessments. The lizard began to laugh at the stupid conclusions of a student with an S-rank animal soul, because he does not know how to lose at all. During all the controversy, Chief Examiner Zhou Shanha came. His ferocious bear beast soul had already reached the level of a seven-star lord. The examiner heard a speech about how someone wanted to go to court, so he decided to find out everything. Xian immediately played the victim and began telling the examiner that he considered Lin Yuan's assessment to be baseless. The bully began to complain even more that it was not normal for such an E-rank to go through ten levels and therefore wanted to ask for a reasonable explanation. The examiner explained that he had attended Lin's examination and observed the entire process from beginning to end without finding anything unusual. The Lord was indignant at Xian's impudence. Does he think that the examiner can help someone cheat? The bully apologized for his hot ardor. For Xian the examiner is a source of pride, but the bully can't believe that Lin's awakened beast soul is rated as an E-ranked talent. Lin thinks that everyone present is very clear about what this means. Xian demands the examiner to publish a video of Lin Yuan's battle so that the public can be convinced of the fair passing of the exam. Unfortunately, the examiner does not have the right to agree to Xian's request. Examiners are prohibited from disclosing information about candidates, except in special cases. In this case, since it is impossible to publish the video, Xian asks the examiner to allow a fight between the bully and Lin, if the hero wins, he will prove the purity of his assessment. But if the hero loses, then this defeat will be enough to prove to everyone that Lin's assessment was obtained in a dishonest way. The students are amazed that the bully Xian is going to humiliate Lin Yuan. Girl Shui is furious. She considers this upstart vile. He is trying to do everything to humiliate Lin. The lizard is sure that the bully wants to take the chance to fight with Lin, and then prove to everyone that the hero is really a loser. But for Lin this is not a problem and everything will be completely the opposite. According to the rules, it is not prohibited to challenge on the territory of the beast soul palace itself. All that remains is to wait for Lin's opinion. Those around him whisper to each other, 
the hero has no choice but to agree, because if he refuses, then everyone will consider Lin a swindler. The Shui girl asks to abandon the battle if the hero is not confident in his abilities. But Lin will not leave everything so simple. It is useless to endure. He is ready to make Xian afraid by breaking all his bones. The disciples cannot verify this. It has never happened before that an S-rank soul fights with an E-rank soul. The examiner warned that there was no need for a battle to the death, since both students were the pride of the city, having taken first and third places. Xian made a pitiful promise to Lin that he would show how he would tear the hero to shreds. Both disciples are in the beast soul palace arena. If both sides are ready, then the battle will begin right now. Before the start of the battle, the examiner announced the rules. This battle will be just a sparring. You cannot kill. It is forbidden to use any foreign objects during the fight. If one of the rules is broken, it will be considered a defeat. Even in the arena, this arrogant person does not understand how such trash agreed to the fight. In his opinion, Lin should have given up rather than suffer from terrible fractures. Xian immediately activated his beast soul fusion and began to attack first. The students see for the first time the soul of Xian, the king of the reptile skeleton, measuring up to 5 meters. They all doubt that with such a soul it is possible to take third place. The only thing the audience doesn't understand at the moment is why Lin doesn't transform. The girl is very worried about Lin, because she knows that the hero has the soul of a small lizard. If the bully in any way harms the hero, then Shui will come to his defense at that very second. Since the bully is so eager for Lin to merge with his bestial soul, he is ready to satisfy his desire right now. The spectators are panicked by what they see. They cannot believe their eyes that this is really an E-rank animal soul. And then Xian realized that he shouldn't have signed up for certain death. It was impossible for him that E-rank could grow so quickly. Xian runs from corner to corner, not knowing what to do. If Lin had touched him with one claw, he would have left the enemy crippled. Bully doesn't seem to be as brave as before the battle. This will be the first time in the world that the reptile skeleton king will lose to E-rank. Lin was able to grab his opponent by the tail and began spinning him around the entire arena, after which he slammed him into the ground with all his might. The hero can no longer be stopped. It's as if he's not fighting, but playing with his favorite childhood toy. The spectators do not believe in everything that is happening. Lin defeated Xian. Now they are definitely convinced of the examiner's words. He did not lie and did not defend Lin's honor. He spoke only one truth. Although the girl knew that Lin was not weak as he actually pretended to be, she did not think that he had such a strong E-rank beast soul. The enemy cannot come to terms with the fact that his S-rank beast soul turned out to be weaker than E-rank. Damn it! The lizard shouts to Lin in a panic that Xian ate the red capsule. Allowing him to level up in a short time, his strength will increase to a three-star beast general. But such use of the pill does not go unpunished. After taking the capsule it will take a month to recover. The lizard is sure that he is a real psycho. The examiner announced that Xian lost for violating the rules of combat, which meant that Lin had won. Lin couldn't even imagine that Xian was such a useless piece of trash, even though this bully put himself above the rest. But now he is a worthless clown. After the announcement of Xian's defeat, the hero does not understand why the enemy remains in the arena. He is going to continue the fight, not caring about the words of the examiner. Even though the bully took doping, this does not scare the hero. In any case, he remains calm like a boa constrictor. Today was the biggest mistake of Xian's life. He could have given up calmly. But instead he chose to suffer from the attacks of Lin's beast soul. This time, the soul of the reptile skeleton is unlikely to be able to stand up. The examiner officially announced that Lin Yuan won this battle. The hero did not give up even when the enemy took prohibited drugs to artificially increase strength. All the students can only remain in shock. They also do not understand what kind of blind idiot assessed his bestial soul as an E-rank talent. The examiner told the teacher to take Xian to the infirmary. His injuries were not fatal, but the side effects after using the capsule were enough to keep him in bed for a couple of months. But now teachers doubt that any university will accept him after what he did. The examiner praised and congratulated Lin on her victory. In response the hero said thank you for the fact that the examiner gave the opportunity to injure Xian. The examiner said that in fact he is only the most important here. He is also a member of the admissions committee of the University of Animals in the city of M.O. and also invited the hero to enroll with them. The hero understands perfectly well that only the best get into the institute. But what will be the benefit for Lin then? 
If the hero still intends to enroll, the examiner will apply for a full scholarship payment, including 500,000 coins, 20 high-quality crystals, 5 capsules and a general rank beast sword. The lizard asks the hero to think carefully, because 20 high-quality crystals cost 200,000 coins, and one capsule costs as much as 250,000 coins. The examiner stated that this is the best that the university can offer. He and the university management themselves will be sincere in their intentions. At this moment, an unfamiliar man appears who began to slander the examiner that the admissions campaign has not yet begun, and he is already trying to lure the hero Lin by deception. This man Ching Yu he came from Yanjing Beast University. Ching assures Lin that the examiner is trying to fool him. He is sure that their university is much better, because they will provide the hero with 500.00 coins, 40 high-quality crystals and 10 capsules. The students expected that the two most polar universities would fight for Lin, so in addition to this they would also offer incredible resources. The examiner became aggressive. How dare Ching entice the great student Lin right in front of him? Ching did not remain silent. He simply could not be scared by some pathetic soul of a dead bear. Lin is confused and doesn't know what to do, how to observe the energies of the forces of beast souls of the Lord ranks. And again a new unknown man appeared. Most likely he also came from some very popular university. The hero was surprised that this man was able to suppress the auras of the big furious bear and the ghostly void tiger. Could it be that the power of this fat man is superior to both of them? This fat guy's name is Ding Lushan, and he came from Xuchuan University. In exchange for joining his university, he promises 3 million coins, 50 high-quality crystals, and 10 capsules. But besides all this, Dean promised to throw in 20 high-quality crystals for each semester until the end of his studies. Everyone started shouting and drawing the young leader's attention only to themselves. Even though they want to accept him, he won't be able to do that. The hero is very ashamed. But there is no other way out. He is grateful to everyone. But besides the universities of Yan Jing and Mo, he does not consider other organizations. Dean was not the least bit offended. He would always be happy to see Lin at his university if he wanted it. Two examiners behave like small children in a sandbox who did not share a toy among themselves. The lizard congratulated the hero. The system rated the animal soul as the rank of general and awarded one silver chest. Girl Shui is proud of Lin. He is now number one in the city, causing all the top universities to fight for him. Shue suggested that Lin enroll in the same university as her, but the hero needs to think a little more. Lin began to think that if Yanjing University was objective, he would choose Mo City. The girl was very upset, because Lin was unpleasant to the people in Yanjing. The hero returned home and the lizard began to talk about a weapon of the rank of a general, a fiery claw. When the weapon attacks an enemy, fire appears on the claws which deals an additional blow. The lizard was very upset that Lin was so calm in her words. These weapons are divided by rank. This weapon Lin costs hundreds of thousands of coins. At that moment, the hero thought seriously. He decided that he must achieve the rank of overlord as soon as possible. The lizard also added that Yanjing University prepares strong masters, and the university in the city of Mo produces mega strong ones. The hero has decided on a decision. He will go to the city of Mo because it is there that the most valuable student will cost over 1 million coins. An examiner from Yan Jing walks into Zhou's office with a very bad attitude towards communication. Zhou is incredibly happy that Lin entered his university. But the examiner asked not to brag. He came with a question whether it was true that Xue also entered his university. Zhou was very surprised that the news arrived so quickly. It turns out that the examiner from Yan Jing knows her more than necessary. His only request was that when Shue came to university, Zhou would take good care of her. While Lin was trying to get a scholarship as quickly as possible, Shue didn't even think about it, which means she is much more prosperous than Lin. Unfortunately, the examiner cannot give out every single detail. He simply asked Zhou to take care of her. Three days passed and Lin came to the university. He did not think that he would receive all the promised resources so quickly. The equipment will make Lin's scales harder and her spine will be covered with spikes, which will protect her from injury. The seller is amazed that the hero has come to exchange for low-quality crystals again. The seller's eyes almost fell out when Lin said that he needed 500,000 low-quality crystals. He laughed, but still didn't understand why he needed such a large quantity, as if Lin was going to feed them to the pigs. 
The hero was uncomfortable telling the driver the address of the secret warehouse, so he brought everything home. Lin would be absorbed at home, but it would take a huge amount of time. The lizard discovered Lin's secret. He can absorb crystals in human form, because the hero has a system with which he can eat all the crystals in human form. The hero successfully absorbed nuclear radiation and received 1,000 evolution points. It takes 15 minutes to absorb one nuclear radiation, to absorb all 500 pieces. This would require an average of 184 radiations per day. Lin's body has completely mutated during the absorption process, and is now able to resist. With immunity to radiation, no concentrations of nuclear radiation are scary. Nuclear weapons had been used in many areas to destroy monsters, but now they would have no effect on Lin's body. The hero has two more months ahead, the hero must absorb all the crystals and increase his strength as quickly as possible. In the conference hall of the MO City Animal University, Director Wang Ting gave a speech and said that the enrollment of students has now been successfully completed. This year's freshmen are even more deserving than in previous years. Wang Ting talked with the directors of other universities and came to the conclusion that it was worth holding a national freshman competition to find out who of all the talents is the real beast. The employees responded well to this idea. This is a good opportunity to show students that there will always be someone in order of magnitude higher. Approximately 10 main students and 2 reserve students will perform from each university. One of the workers suggested using Tsenlong's rating as a guide, but not completely sticking to it, since the competition could involve paired battles. For the director, this event is an honor. This is the first national competition, and it will be broadcast throughout the country. The worker asked examiner Zhou if he was happy with the new students this time. When he looked at the list, he didn't understand why Mr. Zhou was recruiting even E-ranked talents when there were much more capable students below. But as soon as the worker just looked at who the E-ranked student was, he was horrified. It turned out to be Lin Yuan with the bestial soul of a black lizard. As the lizard said, Lin now looks like a cultivating monk who has not moved for a month. In the process of absorbing nuclear radiation, the hero mastered the S-level skill, nuclear breathing. Breathing nuclear energy can emit light particles with nuclear radiation. Infrared rays can reach 55 degrees Celsius. This month Lin absorbed 2,500 crystals and now has 1,500,000 evolution points. The hero decided to increase the hardness of his scaly armor by 2,000 points, the sharpness of his claws by 200,000 points and the power of the nuclear reactor by 300,000 points. Now the leader among the masters of the beast general level is Lin. A little more, and he can become a king. The hero still has 2,500 crystals left. If he absorbs them all, he can get at least 2,500,000 evolution points. But Lin doubts whether all these points are enough to break through to the beast king level in one go. In this case, even if you can't improve, you can sell high-quality crystals and capsules, and then stock up on low-quality crystals. A month later, Lin met Shui and the examiner on a train platform. The examiner had to return home for business, so he ended up at the same time as Shui. But now he is ready to give the students a ride to the university. The girl is outraged by Lin's behavior. There was no greeting or answer from him for a whole month, but he was practicing and under no circumstances should he have contact with others. Shui also didn't waste time for nothing, she not only reached the rank of general, but also received three stars. Just two months ago, Lin had the rank of a three-star general, and now he is even stronger. The girl did not really try to catch up with the guy. Lin is shocked that regular seats on the train cost more than 100,000, and teacher Zhou has a separate room, is a lord rank master treated in any special way. The examiner said that if everything goes well, they will arrive at the university in the evening, which Lin did not understand why if everything goes well. This is due to the fact that on the way you may encounter monsters fighting each other, they are all called the bestial tide. Joe said that in often unusual cases occur when packs of beasts or several lord rank monsters attack the train, sometimes even king ranks are encountered. In any case, there is no need to worry. If this happens, the examiner will try to detain them so that the students and people on the train can escape but against the rank of the king he will be able to hold out for five minutes. Lin didn't think that such a rank was much more terrible than he imagined. One of the teachers came running and reported that ten kilometers away, the radar detected that a flock of animals was approaching. Most likely they will approach in ten minutes they will collide with the train, 
so everyone needs to hurry. According to information, there are three beast kings, more than 50 generals and about 300 war beasts in the pack. Cho asked Shui and Lin if they wanted to go together. The tide was low. It would be necessary to treat this battle as a model of a real battle before starting training. The students could not possibly leave the examiner in trouble and, of course, agreed. Shui has never been able to ride such a vehicle in her life, so she will go with Lin to pick up the examiner. The girl asked if Lin really knew how to control it, but it turned out that he couldn't. But the hero doesn't consider it difficult to control. He will learn while driving. Joe decided to remind the students before they entered into battle that if they encounter a beast that is too tough for them, they should get away from it as quickly as possible without wasting time, because safety comes first. Joe immediately merged with his ferocious bear beast soul. He split the earth. Lin is simply shocked by the master's abilities. But what will happen then with the rank of emperor? He will be able to move mountains and divide the seas, change the world, the hero wondered. The disciples did not hesitate and also merged with their animal souls. Joe shouted and told the disciples to run away as quickly as possible without wasting time. It is useless for Lin. The red flame claw is activated. He felled the beast in a matter of seconds. Shue from the side was amazed by Lin's soul power. This porcupine was at the last stage of the general rank, and Lin was able to crush it in one blow. The teachers had no idea this could happen, but the detection radar malfunctioned. Initially, the purple dots represented the kings of the beasts, but there were three of them, but not four. And now there are three of them again. It seems that this king is able to hide his presence. Here he is. This is the hidden king. He killed one of the masters on the front line, tearing out the heart from the chest. Shue asked Lin how many general-ranked beasts they had killed, to which the hero replied that it was somewhere around ten. Shue noticed an incomprehensible passage and did not understand where it could come from. A beast ran out of him. Lin asked Shui to close his eyes, because blood might get in. As soon as she closed, the hero tore off the beast's paw. The lizard warned the hero that this type of beast master is the best at stealth. The bestial soul is not afraid of any animals. This cowardly mongrel can only hide. The dog disappeared from sight again. Shui asked Lin to be careful and attentive, because the beast could take it from anywhere. Suddenly the beast appears in the back and jumps on Lin not knowing that his back is well protected. Now it is the hero's turn to strike the enemy. Lin decided to test his nuclear breath on such a pathetic little dog so that he would know how to use it in the future. After the murder, Lin picked up the beast master's crystal core and wondered how much he could sell it for. The examiner asked the hero what the secret was, how he was able to kill him. Cho asked to answer him honestly at what level Lin's strength was to which the hero replied that he had made his way to the rank of overlord. This is really hard to believe, because just two months ago, Lin had a three-star general. Lin nevertheless told the examiner everything in confidence, that in fact he could absorb nuclear radiation from lower soul crystals. At that moment, Shui came running, she was very worried about the hero. She is very grateful to Lin for saving her, because if it weren't for him, she would have been attacked by a beast with the ability of invisibility. The examiner reassured Shui, there is nothing wrong with this, after all, this is the first time she has encountered such a situation, which is normal for a person. Zhou never expected that Lin could absorb nuclear radiation as energy. He was truly a genius among all the beast soul masters. The examiner warned that he had collected all the loot in the storage badge. When the train arrived at its destination, Zhou would sell everything in the beast soul palace and give the money to Lin. The examiner forgot that the hero has never used this, he will need to apply for the same, but for 10 cubes of space he will have to pay 1 million. Joe advises it is better to buy lower crystals with this money, and simply borrow the badge for a while. But Joe asked Lin to stop thanking him, because at their university, real talents will never be deprived of resources, especially if Lin enters the top 10 of the Qianlong ranking, he will receive even more bonuses. When Shue woke up, she asked why the dorm rooms were designed for several people. It would be inconvenient for everyone to practice. The examiner said that the dormitory is a place to sleep and relax. Students can visit training rooms for free, which are open 24 hours a day. Lin breathed a sigh of relief, because if there were no such premises, he would have been quickly discovered. The hero was surprised with Shue. For her, five million is not enough to rent a separate room. Before conquering Qianlong's ratings, Lin decided to first settle into a dormitory. When Lin entered the room, 
he was greeted by his roommate Xiao Ming. In appearance, he is a calm, sweet guy. But his animal soul is an eight-winged serpent. He is a freshman. Lin also introduced himself to everyone. One of the neighbors found out that he was the same talent from Jinhai City. The hero was surprised that the guy read the closed dossier. Because no one could view the personal data of freshmen. Zhao said that this fat man absorbs information well. Even the examiner does not know about it. The fat man's name is Wang Jing. He is ready to tell Lin everything that interests him. But information has its price. This became very interesting to Lin. He asked Wang to find out the place in the ranking. But today is the first day and the guy will be able to give another list. Which includes all the freshmen who will be in the top 10 of the ranking. Since the guys had just met and became roommates, Van decided to give a 20% discount, selling the information for only 4,000 coins. Lin glanced at the list and was surprised that there were so many hidden geniuses in M.O. City University. Even Zhou, a seemingly sweet guy, had an 8-star beast general. The last fourth roommate came into the room. He looks very angry. His name is Song Lan. Everyone except Lin is shocked by the news that this year's champion will be sharing the same room with them. But the hero still remembered this guy, his SSS rank talent rating, and his animal soul is a multicolored glass butterfly. Sun didn't have time to enter the room when Wang began to sell the guy his 20% discount for information. The guys walked and reflected on how lucky they were that they entered this particular university. On their way they met two amazing girls. Fluffy said that the girl on the left is called Yuchinchio. Her S-rank beast soul is a snow silkworm. And the girl on the right is called Sumu Shue. Her S-rank beast soul, nine-tailed snow fox. Shue missed her, said that she had not seen each other for a long time. Although they had only seen each other during the day, she was simply confused, and also introduced her to her neighbor. The informant was shocked when he realized that they knew each other. Sun shouted at Wang about which of them was the informant, why he didn't know, to which the plump guy replied that he was collecting information, but not matchmaking. Plump took advantage of the moment and invited the girls to eat. But today, unfortunately, they agreed to eat together. Wan is horrified how Lin was able to meet such a stunning girl Shui, and even communicate so closely. Lin grinned that it turns out there is something that even the informant doesn't know, but it's okay. The hero is ready to sell this information at a 20% discount, like a neighbor. Although the hero wants to return to the hostel and relax, he cannot relax, because there are many cool students at the university. The lizard said that there is a high concentration of energy here, which is good for practice. This entry-level training room is free, but there are paid ones for intermediate and advanced levels. They have a much higher concentration of energy, but they are too expensive. The lizard was surprised. The hero absorbed all the low-level crystals and only high-quality crystals and animal soul capsules remained. Lin received 1,000 evolution points, but the result is the same as when absorbing low-quality crystals. It turns out that the hero wasted 10,000 coins. Upon absorbing the capsule, the lizard congratulated him on receiving a new talent. Lin was surprised that if he has a talent column in his characteristics, this means that the hero has a hidden parameter. This talent can increase the absorption rate by approximately 5%. In addition, since Lin has an assistant, he can indulge himself in consuming one capsule a month. But this fun is too expensive. Paying 50,000 for one capsule is too much. Waking up in the morning, Lin did not find his two neighbors. The fat man said that they had gone to train. More than one hero decided to take care of his strength. Lin quickly stood up and decided to go to the Beast Soul Palace to buy a batch of lower crystals. The hero called the examiner and arranged a meeting. Joe transferred 2.2 million for the collected crystal cores. In addition, the examiner exchanged 1 million for 10,000 inferior crystals. The crystals and the rest of the money are in the badge that the teacher decided to lend to the hero for a while. The meeting was not over. Lin asked the teacher to exchange 1.2 million for animal soul capsules. Zhao could not refuse, he will go to the palace when he has free time. In addition, the examiner promised Lin to take the place of the university representative at the competition if he entered the top 10 rankings. From that moment on, the hero had a new goal, not just to get into the top 10, but to be in first place on the list. Some time later, Lin received 1000 evolution points for successfully absorbing nuclear radiation in just 10 minutes. This speed is due to the absorption of five reward capsules. They increase not only the rate of absorption of energy from the air, 
but also the rate of assimilation of crystals. The lizard itself is not sure, so when the teacher sends a batch of capsules, the hero will be obliged to check it. There is no time for stupid questions, the hero must continue to absorb crystals to increase strength. Lin considered this day to be somehow special, because usually all his neighbors leave early and return very late, but today they are all here. It turned out that today was a meeting of freshmen, which Lin had conveniently forgotten about. The fat man is shocked that all his neighbors, except him, are training like monsters to get into the top ten rankings. Sun immediately dismissed this idea. He believes that with his nine-star general, only the first hundred shines. Another neighbor also refused. Although he is a ruler, his soul is auxiliary, and therefore he is bad in battle. Lin realized that the competition will be much tougher this year, so he wants to start training even more. The hero met the examiner at the meeting. It turns out that teachers should also participate in the meeting of first-year students. Lin introduced the teacher to his neighbors. One of them he knew well, Chubby. The teacher knows his father. He is a big shot. The principal finally arrived and greeted all the students and teachers. Very soon the Qianlong ranking will be officially opened, where students will face the first stage of the struggle. The higher the ranking, the more generous rewards they will receive. The director also said that the strong must fight. There are no soft weaklings and cowards in this university. This is exactly what all students should understand. Lin's neighbors are ranked third and tenth on the list. But then what place will the hero himself be in? Lin was disappointed when he learned that he was ranked 312th. The lizard said that the ranking list is compiled according to five rules. According to the position of 312th place, it will take about 16 days to rise to the very top. All the students in the area are just discussing the first place student, Wu Xuan Gu. The hero's neighbors think it's strange that he continues to calmly train at such a time. The plump guy wanted to buy information from the hero for a million, but he refused. Suddenly, Lin appeared behind them and said that when he reached Jianlong's top, then they could discuss the price of his information again. The lizard reported that the capsules that Zhao had sent arrived. There were only 24 of them. Lin did not absorb them all at once, but decided to absorb them in parts. I decided to start small and threw in 10 things. Although almost half of them were gone, the hero received a new talent for the successful takeover. Lin gained 10 talent points and his absorption speed increased greatly. The hero immediately decided to check whether the speed of merging with crystals would also be increased or not. After seven minutes, the lizard congratulated him on receiving 10,000 evolution points. Lin was very happy about these minutes. This had never happened before. His guesses turned out to be correct, and the absorption efficiency also increased. At that same moment, the phone rang. Lin was warned that in 10 minutes the battle between first and third place would begin. Lin rushed to the arena of the Animal Soul Institute. All the seats were so packed that half of the people were still standing. Examiner Zhou saw the hero and quickly called him to him. Teacher Ming was surprised that Zhou treated the hero like a treasure, even brought him to the competition. Maybe the examiner should tie him to himself. Meng Chang'an laughed. Zhao introduced the teacher and the hero to each other, introducing who is who. Moving away from the conversation, Meng asked Zhou who generally had a higher chance of winning the battle. But how could the examiner know this? The fighters entered the arena. The first to enter was Wang Linghu, who was third in the ranking. The second opponent was Wu Gu, who took first place in the ranking. The long-awaited moment has arrived. The start of the battle has been announced, and the battle will begin right now. It turned out that Wang challenged Wu Xuan in the hope that he would chicken out. Wang Linghu stands confidently in his position. He believes that the first place belongs to him. For such self-confidence, Wu Xuan decided to teach him a well-deserved lesson that he would never forget. Lin didn't expect such an appearance. This is the same SSS rank Golden Winged Centipede King. His suppressive strength is at least Overlord rank. Wang Ling who was glad that he had finally met an opponent he would look forward to. Van is also a master of beasts. Now it is not at all clear who will win. Meng even envies the participants. They are full of energy. Once a teacher at his age could only dream of such strength. Red Flame Tiger Wang Ling who surpasses his opponent in strength, speed, agility, and explosive power. The teachers watch the fight with their mouths open. They like that Ling who acts carefully, first checking the enemy from a long distance and then quickly closing in and catching him by surprise. Meng felt that with the soul of an E-rank beast, entering the university was by no means easy, 
and it was much more difficult to lead Xianlong. Unlike the teachers, the hero is not distracted from the battle and looks mesmerizingly. He understood why Wu Xuan gave the advantage to Wan, because it was a trap. The teachers asked twice and did not understand why the hero thinks so. Ling Hu was glad that he only had to deal the final blow, but something unexpected happened. Wu Xuan grabbed the fiery tiger with his legs and began to squeeze with all his might. The teachers are shocked. Wu Xuan really drove the enemy into a trap, but as the hero guessed before, they still won't understand. Lin said that the best way to lull the enemy's vigilance is to show his weakness. Wu Xuan will be able to stay at the top of the rankings in any case, not to mention the fact that he deserves it. The teachers could not even imagine that the hero would be so insightful. Teachers usually ignore details, but Lin does not relax and is completely immersed in the process. The examiner called Ming an old man. The youth would be much smarter than him. Meng said that Zhou himself most likely stood and counted the raven. The spectators watch the battle with bated breath. Almost all of them are confident that Wu Xuan Gu will be defeated. The teachers also wondered about this. Who would win after all? So they asked Lin's opinion. The hero confidently stated that Wang Linghu would lose. The teachers began to argue that why should the tiger lose? Because no matter how you look at it, only he has every chance of winning. Wang Linghu's attacks are fierce, but hasty. The poison should take effect soon. Which one forces the tiger to give up? It is not too late to go to the infirmary and remove the poison. But if he does not leave, the centipede will not vouch for the consequences. For the fiery tiger, this decision was a fatal mistake. Although Wuxuan Gu is now in first place, he needs to be much more careful. In the future he will face more serious opponents. Zhou is not happy with the battle. If Ling Hu had not been poisoned, the battle could have been more exciting. The examiner asked the hero if he understood the purpose for which he called to watch the fight. Lin answered correctly. You need to clearly know your own position, the strength of the enemy and be aware of the need for self-improvement. A week later, I didn't stop training and became much pumped up. The hero has been accumulating evolution points since receiving the rank of Beast Master, and at the moment he already has more than 3 million. This is all an experience boost, if it weren't for it, it would not have been possible to accumulate so much. Lin decided to spend 200,000 on the hardness of the scales, 200,000 on the sharpness of the claws, 200,000 on the sharpness of the teeth, and another 600,000 on increasing the power of nuclear breathing and capacity. The lizard congratulated him on receiving the second star. There are still 1.75 million points left. The time had come for Lin to test her abilities because the hero had not appeared in the dormitory for a week, and slept only two to three hours a day. When Lin entered the room, the informant told about the tragedy, Zhao Ming and others were seriously injured, and Song made an appointment with the offender Zhao, and they would meet this evening. Lin didn't understand what difference it made to him to stand up for someone, the fat man argued this action by saying that a good-natured person like Zhao would never conflict with anyone, there were simply too many raiding hunters and he had to stick his head out. Lin did not understand who the raiding hunters were. The informant explained that they were a newly formed group of freshmen who were using strong students to get to the top and drain the weak ones. First, stronger freshmen compete for a place on the list, and then deliberately lose to weaker members of the group in order to transfer the ranking to them. Moreover, to confirm their performance, participants must pay a weekly fee, and those who want to get a high rating are required to pay much more. Lin is completely confused. Shouldn't they be removed from the list if they don't match the skill? The informant said no, because their position is maintained as long as the money comes in. If anyone dares to challenge the person they are protecting, they can easily become a target. Lin asked why the university does not intervene in these dark affairs. The plump one reminded the hero that the university admires students more than others, so no one is going to interfere. The hero couldn't think that the university was even tougher than one could imagine but Lin likes it more and more. Immediately it dawned on Lin that whoever created this organization then, because since he created such a thing, he is one of the weak rather than the strong. And the informant said that the creator of the group of hunters is Wu Xuan Gu. Lin still doesn't understand why he needs this, because he's already in first place. Plump again forgot that the hero doesn't know a lot. The fact is that the ranking list changes every day. Among the current freshmen of Wu Xuan Gu he is considered a hidden talent. At the moment he is in third place in the ranking. On the second day after the list was published, Wu Xuan Gu created an organization of ranking hunters and recruited strong guys. 
Wushuan Gu promised a bunch of privileges, now a third of all students in his organization, but types like Wang Linghu and Chu Tian did not join. Plump said that he already needed to run to Ming, and would tell everything else later, but Lin decided to go with him. Ming didn't expect Lin to come to visit him. The guy feels fine, well, normal, despite numerous fractures, abrasions and cuts. Min blames himself that everything is his fault. If he had been a little stronger, then nothing would have happened. This evening the guys came to support and watch Song's battle. His opponent will be Yuan Lian, who is ranked 25th. Puck Liash has to worry about his rating. It's too hard for him to fight for a place in the rating, so all that remains is to upgrade his intelligence. The guy said that he wants to reach heights without the help of his father. He relies only on himself and collecting information and further selling it. He wants to become the largest seller in China. The chubby guy also added that he has a brother. He is incredibly talented. But for the sake of secrecy he entered Yanjing University. Lin can somehow even imagine what kind of person his elder brother is. An intriguing moment has arrived. The battle will begin soon. The enemy immediately began to turn up his nose. It was funny to him that Sun began to stand up for the hospital garbage. Sun is too deliberate. It was in vain that they crossed their path. They went too far with their gang of hunters. The upstart almost cries with laughter and considers Mina a pathetic dead guy who asks others to stand up for him. The opponent asked if Sun remembered that he was one of the strongest in this city, to which he added that he didn't care what kind of strength Sun wanted. For him he was the same trash as Zhao. Sun was tired of enduring this childish babble and furiously began to merge with his bestial soul. The enemy dies laughing that Sun has the soul of a moth. Yuan scoffs and says that the shiny wings are perfect for sticking needles into. The enemy laughed more at Sun's appearance when he himself turned into an ordinary mutated monkey. Lin is not yet sure who can win, but the advantage is so far on the side of the monkey. Although Song's beast soul looks like a girl, right now he was able to give a critical rebuff to the mad monkey. Everyone was shocked by Song's strength. Now if Yuan relaxes again, he will definitely lose. Yuan attacks the butterfly. Not paying attention to the attack, he wants to get as close as possible to push Song to the edge of the ring. Fighting in a confined space obviously limits the combat area, which is different from fighting in the field, so Lin tries to reduce the distance and reduce the effectiveness of the butterfly to a minimum. Sun stunned the enemy, and now he will not be able to even move. But suddenly, something Sun didn't expect, the monkey launched an air attack, activating a stream of punches. With his numerous blows, he tore off Sun's wings. After that, from the air with all his strength, he flew down towards Song with his crushing blow. Even though Sun is condemned to fail, he never stops giving up and tries to think of something. The guys are at a loss. Where is the judge? Why is no one announcing the results of the fight? This bastard will soon kill Sun, and no one just doesn't care. The judge stopped the battle, and as a result of the duel, Yuan takes Song Lan's place in the ranking and becomes 18th on the list. Yuan laughed at Song. He will wait for the call again at any time if he wants to continue. But unfortunately Song will now lie next to Ming. Wang Ling who was amazed at the impudence of the scum and decided to investigate properly. Lin abruptly leaves the stands and goes to the arena. For that matter, the hero invites Yuan to fight him. The hero said that he is Song Lan's friend, Lin Yuan, and is ready to fight right now. In response, the hypocritical one only laughed at Lin's 312th place in the ranking. Lin really can't challenge now, but in 12 days he will definitely reach it. Yuan was surprised that the hero would only need 12 days to challenge in such a short amount of time. Lin would have to undergo extreme tests one after another every day. The opponent agreed, but if Lin lets him down, then Yuan will personally come to break the bones. Lin thanked Wang Linghu for standing up for Song. For him it was nothing. They were just not happy with the behavior of the hunters before either. Wang is proud of the guy for choosing to challenge the vile Yuan Lian. The hero said a very good quote, If you are afraid of everything, then what was the point of coming here? Wang thought so and decided that his friendship with Lin would not be superfluous. The next day, Lin competes in the arena against Chen Hai, who has an 8-star S-rank soul. The opponent believed that one choke hold would be enough to defeat Lin. He was very mistaken in this. The hero easily freed himself from the snake and threw it away. Then the snake realized that Lin had the strength of a beast lord and was no match for him. Plump is bursting with joy. He doesn't understand why Lin has been hiding such a great power all this time. When the guys left the palace, the informant came up with a great idea on how to make money. 
He recalled that the story after yesterday's battle quickly spread throughout the university, and Lin became popular with everyone, so the chubby decided to open a betting office. But in order to prepare, Puffy needs to know Lin's true strength. He said in secret that his strength is about a two-star beast lord. But Plump doesn't believe it. Lin turns out to be much stronger than Song Long. Wang asked how long the hero could survive without defeat for 12 days. Lin thought about it and said that he was about 95% confident in himself. For him opponents below the top 20 did not pose any danger. Plump announced a bet of 10 million, and the winnings would be divided 60 40ths. When Lien was eating, the leader of the hunter came to the dining room, he heard about the call and decided to inquire. Lin did not attach any importance to this, because when Lin offered the challenge, he was in 312th place, and now he is in 262nd place. The head is shocked by his subordinate. Apparently he doesn't read the news at all, since he doesn't know that Lin has the spirit of a beast lord. Xian himself heard this information out of the corner of his ear and decided to inform Lien. Lien doesn't care who the hero is, he wants to do his best to prevent Lin from sticking his nose into the affairs of the organization. The third day has arrived and today Lin's opponent will be a guy with the soul of a lunar shadow leopard, rank 242nd. Once bets are opened, the odds change in real time, so Lin will have to pretend to be weak in order for the guys to earn as much as possible. This duel will not be rigged, in the opinion of the chubby one, it is just a business strategy, but in the end it will still be necessary to win. Yesterday, Lin demonstrated the power of a beast master, and not long ago, the hero challenged Yuan Lian, which is why there are so many spectators now. Although the enemy knows Lin's bestial soul, he is not going to just admit defeat. The nine-tailed leopard really wants to defeat the huge lizard, he will try his best. The first blow was behind the enemy, he has an advantage in speed. But not everything is so simple, Lin deliberately gives and so that the coefficient increases and they can earn a lot of money. Panther doesn't know anything about Lin's machinations, so he thinks that this is the true power of an overlord rank beast soul. Most viewers are no longer confident that Lin will win, so they are preparing to bet against him. For the chubby guy, this news is like a bomb to the heart. The more Lin shows his acting talents, the more money they can earn. The panther at this time still believes that at this rate he can defeat the overlord. Lin got tired of playing with the panther, and in a split second his tail pinned him to the wall. The enemy did not expect this, that a strike at this very moment could not be avoided. The spectators were furious, they realized that Lin was simply pretending to be weak in the first half of the fight. Plump congratulated the hero, and said that most people are wary of him now, so the theme may still work. When Lin went to bed, he began to remember the rewards he received after the battle, the two silver treasure chests, and the beast artifact. The hero is happy as a baby. He can sell the artifact and continue to defeat weaker opponents. After five days, Lin rose to 142nd place. During these few days, the hero unexpectedly met with several pumped-up opponents, and he had to accept defeat before the start of the battle. Puffy prepared information about the rating list so that Lin knew who to fight next. Finally, the informant said that he would close the bet, so the hero need not hold back all his strength against Lei Qiming. While Shue was in the advanced pumping room, she received a call from her neighbor. She suggested going to Lin's fight against Lei Qiming, a one-star overlord. From Shue's appearance, the neighbor knew that she was not at all worried about Lin losing. So it is, the girl believes in victory because she considers Lin strong. The neighbor replied that she was happy for Shue, that the girl was so confident in her boyfriend. At this moment, Shue almost died from embarrassment. Her neighbor was definitely talking nonsense. They were just fellow countrymen. In addition to love passions, the neighbor wanted to find out from the girl why Shue does not participate in raiding battles. It turned out that the teacher told Shue that there was no point in fighting for a reward. You first need to level up, and then act. The evening of the day came. Lin was surprised that there were so many people in the arena, half placed bets, the other half just ran to the hype. Lei Qingming can't wait for his opponent Lin, he can't wait to start. The enemy immediately asked the hero if he threatened Yuan Lian and dared to say that in 12 days he would never lose, to which Lin asked if he couldn't. The brute grinned and said that of course it was possible, but his self-confidence would sooner or later destroy him. Lei was ready to help with this, to bring the hero down to earth. Most spectators are confident that Lin will lose, 
because in the last competition he was not particularly impressive and is now called a fool. They forgot to tell Lin that he deliberately bet five million on the hero's defeat. The enemy is trying to cheer himself up. Although he has only one overlord star, he can easily match the speed of two stars. Lei is unlucky to be fighting the hero at a time when the audience doesn't need the acting. The enemy receives a blow to the chest and does not understand how he could not have predicted this. The duel turned out incredibly quickly in favor of Lin's victory. All the spectators are not happy with Lin's victory. They lost their bet, enriching Lin with their money. Shui watched the fight and did not expect that the hero would be able to kill Lei Qingming with just one blow. Even though the girl is a beast lord with a second star, it would be difficult for even her to resist this. The lizard congratulated the hero on his victory. Lin received a golden treasure chest. For opening the chest, the hero received 50,000 evolution points and an artifact of the beast master level. Sung Lei's claw is a beast king level artifact. When struck, the claws are charged with lightning light, which gives increased attack speed, as well as a bonus to lightning attribute damage. Plump runs to Lin to congratulate her on her beautiful victory, and delight her with the amazing news that they are now incredibly rich. Lian also came to the arena to ask with a grin how Lin's roommates were doing. The upstart gave advice to the hero that he had a few days left, so he should go and see them one last time. This empty chatter infuriated even the informant. He does not understand how the upstart is not yet tired of mocking everyone. Three days later, Lin reached number 32 on the ranking list. The hero has finally reached the three stars of the Beast Master and will be able to challenge Yuan Lian again tomorrow. The next morning, the plump guy told Lin that a couple of days ago he opened a new bet on whether Lin could defeat Lian. The bet will be 1 to 1 and 2 to 1. People simply will not dare to bet large amounts. Lin visited his neighbors and asked how Song Lan was doing. He said that he was not doing well. The wounds were deep. But fortunately, he had the level of an overlord and could avoid expulsion. In the battle with Yuan, not only Song's body was defeated, but also his spirit. His broken pride will not allow him to live in peace, and he will begin to doubt his abilities. When the plump guy told the guys that Lin would avenge them today, they almost dropped their jaws in shock. Song said that although Lin used many techniques against him last time, he did not think that this was all he was capable of, so he asked the hero to be careful. The leader of the hunter organization himself came to watch the battle. Lin also saw him and realized that this fight was very important for all hunters. The enemy said otherwise, that he came to see how Lin would quickly fall. Lin abruptly announced to everyone that all the spectators had gathered to watch the fight between him and Lin Yuan, but no one else knew who they believed in. The self-confident insolent man declared that it was he who won, and not the pathetic trash Lin. Wu Xuan is proud of his subordinate for upholding the honor of all hunters well. The neighbor doesn't like this at all. Why on earth did Lian even imagine that Lin would win? The guy with the soul of a tiger asked if Lin's neighbors would mind if he sat down with them. He also said that this time a lot of hunters came. So this scum decided to demonstrate his loyalty to Wishuan Gu. It turns out the guy bet 10 million on Lin's victory. So he definitely came to watch. He really really wants to see Wishuan Gu's reaction. If Lian loses. In this battle, Lian promised that he would break the hero's bones one by one until he kneeled before him and began to beg for mercy. Monkey can't believe that Lin blocked his two-star overlord's jump kick. The time has come for the enemy to worry. He immediately plans to change his position. Lin activated his breathing, but by some miracle the monkey was able to block the blow. The neighbors watch and are also perplexed as to how Yuan Lian withstood Lin's attack. The hero activated his breath strike again, and this time managed to knock down the enemy. Wu Xuan Gu was clearly not happy with this outcome for Lian. He thought that his subordinate would easily deal with Lian. The guys are speechless. They are happy for their friend. But the tiger asked them not to rejoice ahead of time. Lian was able to get up after the attack and praise the hero. He exceeded all the enemy's expectations. Lin understands that not everything is as simple as it seemed. Only an overlord with at least three stars can develop such speed. The monkey was able to deliver his first crushing blow, but the hero forgot that Lian had four arms instead of two. And at this moment, Lin's appearance shed blood for the first time. With the monkey's incredible speed, Lin doesn't have time to react and gets hit again. The true hour has come when Lin will surprise the enemy with his artifact, which he did not even know about. Then it dawned on the monkey that the hero had deliberately allowed him to come closer to him in order to lure him into a trap. Lian realized this too late, 
and now he is a dead man in this battle. The neighbors opened their mouths and could not say a word from seeing Lin's trick. The monkey spoke loud words in such a way that he would break the hero's bones, but everything turned only against him. Since Lian feels that he has not yet lost, then Lin will do the same thing that the monkey did to Song. The audience is delighted with this turn of events. They also all believe that the couple has been given a chance to teach him a lesson, to hit where the academy hurts. The hero asked if the enemy was ready to surrender, if not, otherwise Lian could forget about the national competition. Lian doesn't understand how long he can be mocked. The hero just laughed at this, he is not mocking, but behaves exactly the same way as this monkey trash behaved. Wushuan Gu shouted to Lin that he shouldn't go too far. The tiger interceded and asked where the hero went too far. Wu Swan asked Lin to think carefully, because does he really need enemies in the form of hunters? Lin, in his time, did not hide this. He had long ago declared war on their stinking organization. Everyone was shocked by the hero's statements towards Wu Swan, but only the fiery tiger was proud of him. At the most inopportune moment, the referee announced the end of the fight. Lian just laughed. He was not ready to just give up. He directly stated that he is not afraid of death and is ready to fight to the end. Lin decided to fulfill his wish, since he is so not afraid of anything, including the hero's soul. The fight is over and Lin Yuan, the owner of the strongest soul in the ring, has won. Wish one threatened Lin that sooner or later the time would come to pay the bills. The lizard congratulated the hero on defeating a king-level beast lord. As a reward, Lin receives another golden treasure chest. The neighbors run to meet Lin with joyful faces. They couldn't even think that he was such a beast. But now they have to be careful. Wushuan Gu won't just leave it like that. After thinking, the fiery tiger said that Wushuan would send Li Qingnan, who is in fourth place in the ranking, as its next victim. The hero wanted to ask the informant to collect information, but the tiger stopped them, because he can tell everything himself, because he had to fight with Li. Tiger naturally lost. Li Qingnan is not only strong, but also his beast soul is extremely eccentric. The director entered the observation room and was surprised by the past battle. The director just watched the fight and thinks that the hero is not that bad. The observer fully agreed with the director's words. Lin is quite experienced, ruthless, and determined. Besides talking about the fight, the observer told the director that he should know a lot about the hunter organization, that recently they had become more aggressive, taking over the Qianlong ranking table. Lin came to the cultivation hall and was given a 50% discount for advanced qualifications. He did not waste time and opened the chest from which he received 50,000 evolution points and a master-level artifact. A crystal that accumulates energy also fell out. When the maximum energy in the crystal is reached, the attack becomes 50% more powerful. The hero decided to try the crystal right now, so as not to face problems later. Filling such a small stone took the hero almost half of all his energy and more than half an hour of time. It will be almost impossible to recharge in battle. But the lizard said that it is very good in preliminary preparation. If used in combination with breathing, it can cause devastating damage. Lin took out resources to absorb from the storage talisman and earn many thousands of evolution points. During training, the hero received a call from the chubby guy and he was surprised what apartments Lin uses to increase his strength. All jokes aside, the informant stated that, as expected, Li Qingnan declared war on the hero. Lin understands perfectly well that he cannot refuse the fight, since from the moment of defeating Lian the other hunters have been watching the hero. The hero said that he will continue to earn money from them. This time he intends to bet as much as 20 million on himself. Plump almost fell over when he heard the bet, and also said that he would bet on Lin. But only 30 million. The informant has nothing to lose. He believes that the hero will win at any cost. Before leaving, the plump guy said that the duel was scheduled for tomorrow at 7 p.m. On the evening of the second day, many students argue among themselves, some do not believe that Lin will win this time, while others do not care whether Lin ends up in defeat or victory, they are ready to bet on him anyway. Plump is still surprised with Lin, the duel starts at 7pm, and the hero trains until half past 6. The guys decided to run into the third dining room for a snack, because Lin had not yet had dinner. During the meal, Lin said that he still didn't know the plumpness as if he was hiding it. To which the chubby asked not to even ask about this. The time will come when Lin himself will find out everything. This time, Lin is facing the fourth on the Qianlong list, which is why so many people have come to watch the fight. Lin's opponent came, 
and immediately he said that the hero was not quite suitable for the role of Li Qingnan's opponent. His soul was a demonic vine. Without asking Lin, he decided to give advice so that the hero would not provoke people unequal in strength. The judge declared the duel open and all the spectators screamed with impatience to watch the long-awaited battle. Li began to attack with his stems, but Lin calmly cut them with his sharp claws. It turned out that not everything was so simple for the hero. It turns out that the stems that Lin cut off began to sprout around him. Lin remembered what Wang said. One of Li's abilities is regeneration. As long as he doesn't have enough energy, the vine will sprout endlessly. Lin began to worry, not knowing how to kill this fucking stem. The hero activated his furious breath and how many vines there were. All were destroyed. Li was completely infuriated by Lin's actions because he made the hero a laughing stock in front of a crowd of spectators. The situation turned out to be not the most optimistic. Now the hero is unlikely to be able to defend against such an attack. While all of Lin's friends were worried about him and took off with the score, the hero wisely thought through every step. He understands that this is the same technique when many shoots are directed from all sides. Now even the hero has to work hard against this attack, because one breath is not enough to cope. The vine stuck into Lin's body and began to draw energy from her entire body. Li decided to surprise Lin with the ability so that the hero began to beg for mercy. Lin just grinned at this. Li had not achieved anything yet to ask for something like that. With numerous attacks with sharp claws, Lin began to cut the vines. The enemy knows that the nuclear breath that Lin used to defeat Yuan is not a sneak attack for him. This is why Li activates the shield against the furious breath. The enemy is glad. He was lucky that a large amount of energy was put into the blow before the beam collided with the shield. He also still believes that the hero no longer has any way to resist. Lin decided to admit that without the crystal he might lose, but on this score the crystal has its place. The stupid plant definitely didn't know about this ability and doesn't understand what kind of crystal we are talking about. Having accumulated a large amount of energy, Lin easily throws the opponent into the wall, forcing him to think about the words he said. The spectators did not believe in Lin's victory, but he was actually able to defeat Li Qingnan. The battle is over. Lin won the duel. The fiery tiger could not even think that this could happen. The neighbors are happy for Lin's victory. They are now incredibly rich, having earned 45 million from bets. Wu Xuan Gu was furious at such antics of the heroes. He was completely confident that Li would win and defend the honor of the hunters. Lin laughed in the face of the head of the hunter's organization and said that this was just the first gift. Wu Xuan is very sorry for the hero's neighbors, because if he had been a little stricter with his subordinates, this would not have happened, but aggression from any of the parties is inevitable. The head decided to ask on behalf of the entire organization to bring changes if Lin really wanted it. He also added that with sincere intentions he invites the hero and Song Lan to join the organization because Wu Xuan actually values them very much. Lin told him that he knew everything, that he was taking money from ordinary freshmen in order to lure others to his side. Next, the hero asked if Wu Xuan knew why Chu Tiani refused him. But everything was simple, because tigers and jackals were not found. They are just a group of bloodsuckers parasitic in society. In Lin's opinion, this is more immature than playing with children's toys. Lin's friends almost went crazy because of his courage to say such things to Wishwan himself. All viewers agree with Lin. This gang is only feeding off the students. The Qianlong list does not exist for them to capture its top. Wishwan Gu has never experienced such humiliation before. He doesn't understand how Lin dares to tell him what to do. Finally, Lin said that he didn't care who his next opponent would be, even another slave, or Wishwan himself. It was Song's first time at such an event. But there was no need to worry. Wan became rich thanks to Lin's victory and can now treat everyone. Plump invited Lin to share a glass with him. But the hero made the right decision. He should go train today. The neighbors almost fell under the table when they found out that after such a battle the hero plans to go to train. But the hero was still forced to drink a glass of wine. Just so that it wouldn't backfire on him. The flaming tiger congratulated Lin on her victory. And also added not to thank him for the information about Li because everyone has long understood how strong he is. Song's wounds have not yet healed, so he had to replace alcohol with tea. He is incredibly grateful to Lin for protecting his honor. Song understands that the hero humiliated Wushuan Gu in front of hundreds of students today, so he is afraid that the leader might attack on the sly. Meanwhile, 
Lien lies in the first aid post and does not understand how he could lose to the E rank, who not so long ago was in 312th place. Wuswan calmed him down, said that he would deal with him himself, but in the meantime he gave him an elixir that would help restore his limbs. Gu decided to go to the vice-rector, it's not clear why. It turned out that the senior vice-chancellor of the academy is an uncle to Wushuan Gu, he didn't think that his nephew was so worthless. The uncle made it clear to his nephew that his main mistake was that he thought he was a brave man who could adapt to circumstances, but in reality he was a brainless fool. The vice-rector gave the head everything, means, opportunities, but Wushuan did not advance beyond third place. This is a real shame for his uncle. Wushuan no longer needs anything, he decided to personally fight Lin Yuan and regain his reputation. The uncle told his nephew not to even try to challenge Lin unless he was confident of winning, because in ten days the national freshman tournament would officially begin. In the training room, a neighbor reminded the girl that she had already reached level 20 in order to compete for a place on the ranking list. Shue stated that she would fight Wushuan Gu because he had wronged Lin numerous times. Lin came to the capital, for this is an incredible scale. There is everything here, a practice area, a business area, a quest place, entertainment, consultations and much more. At the entrance, the hero was met by a girl and thought that such a young guy was unlikely to be able to collect a large amount of things. As soon as Lin started talking about storage artifacts, the girl's eyes lit up, because the check would be for several million. The hero liked the artifact with a storage capacity of 20 cubic meters. It is convenient to use, easy to carry, also good for young people who are often outside, but the price is 5 million. In addition to the artifact, Lin asked to pack him another 100,000 low-level crystals. The girl felt bad from such a quantity. She asked to wait for Lin, and she would contact the manager. The saleswoman admires the hero, that not only is he rich, but he also has money. At one point, Lin noticed a King Beast level artifact, a wind spirit talisman, but its price was 20 million. Lin decided to call Wang and borrow 15 million from him. The chubby couldn't refuse. The girl brought all the resources, but Lin said that he also wanted to purchase a wind spirit talisman. She is very grateful to the hero, because thanks to him, the number of sales reached average levels at the beginning of the month. When Lin came to his room, the neighbors called him to a lecture, where he would certainly be able to teach the hero to evolve to the level of a king. Lin is surprised that there are so many people, he didn't think that teacher Zhao was so popular. The teacher noticed the hero, he is glad that he also came to listen to him. Zhao decided to teach the lesson with the conclusion that many of the students still did not understand their own path. The teacher explained that the so-called path is the ideal correspondence of the students personally with their soul, that is, complete unity. Zhou's soul is an earthen angry bear, so he felt obliged to feel the strength of the earth and its power, as well as every movement of the wild bear, until he felt that the power of the earth and the power of the bear became his property. According to the teacher, the best king-level mentor today is Jian Yan. It took him three years to find his way. Before his evolution, Jian was a mediocre soul master, therefore the process of evolution is not as complicated as it might seem at first glance but at the same time it is not entirely simple. After the lecture, Song came to a certain realization before he had resisted his own soul, so he tried to develop physical skills, but in the battle with Lian he realized that this was not the advantage at all. Zhou added that if Lin wanted to challenge Wushuan Gu, he would have to wait two weeks since he was sent on some mission. The next day, the lizard noticed that the effect of a hundred pills had become powerful. It only took five days to absorb 5,000 crystals. Lin is shocked by the lizard's hint. The actual battle simulation function allows you to select an opponent according to your strength and simulates the battle process 100%. Lin decided to simulate a fight with an armored monkey and can now begin the battle. The hero didn't think that this monkey's power was so powerful, and yet it only had five stars. It turns out that the neck is not a weak link. The monkey's neck is completely covered with armored fur so the hero's claws are stuck in it. Lin was distracted and by some miracle the monkey was able to strike. At this moment, the battle simulation ended, and the hero himself died. The hero was horrified. If he had fought against the armored monkey for real, he would definitely not have survived. Lin decided to try his luck again by running a second simulation with the same monkey, because their strengths are almost equal. Lizard remembers this move from the last real battle, 
so it won't work this time. Lin activated his nuclear breath and blew the armored monkey aside. The battle simulation is over. The monkey is dead, which means the hero has won. The hero realized that this was his real strength. If, of course, there was information. At the Institute's Academy, the director announced the start of reading the ranking list. The teachers must determine the final list of participants. The director decided to recommend Song Lan. Ling Shuangyue, Sumu Shue's mentor, nominated a girl from her side. Her bloodline rose to SSS rank. Close friend Zhou decided to nominate Chu Tiani, the disciple who was ranked first on the ranking list. The vice rector nominates his nephew Wu Xuan who is now in third place on the list and also has an SSS rank. All teachers present agreed with the vice rector's opinion. Zhou nominated his disciple Lin Yuan. He reminded everyone that not long ago, the hero defeated Li Qing Nan and took fourth place on the ranking list. One of the teachers objected to Zhou. He considers it inappropriate to promote his people. And besides, he thinks that the whole city will laugh at him. The examiner was infuriated by the words of this worthless teacher. If Lin is really strong, why does the examiner have no right to nominate him? The vice rector also objected. He understands that the hero is developing quickly. But if he loses, then will Zhou be responsible for him or not? The director agreed with the words of the vice rector. The academy must certainly take into account all the risks. The principal did not end his speech there. It would have been too selfish and cruel for him to deprive the student of the opportunity to speak. Zhou thanked the director for giving Lin a chance to test all her strength. Lin had only to go out for a breath of fresh air after a long time when the plump creature was already running towards him. He reported that Lin's friend Su Mu Shui had challenged Shin Sung. The hero at that very second ran into the arena to support his girlfriend, so quickly that the plump guy didn't have time to come to his senses. Shui was outraged by her opponent's behavior and refused to allow anyone to look down on her. After a moment, Shui threw her opponent with all her strength into the wall. The girl threatened him to lie still if he did not want to remain crippled, after which the enemy pitifully surrendered. Shua ran to the hero and said that she originally wanted to challenge Wu Xuan to a duel, but could not find him, so she had to fight Shin Sun. Lin is proud of the girl, he called her smart, and she was very embarrassed. All the spectators noticed the couple together and were upset that she was already busy with him. Lin also wanted to challenge him, but in this case, Chu Tiani, the student who ranks first in the ranking list is ready to challenge him. Wang almost went crazy because this guy doesn't even compare to Shin Kong, Wu Xuan Gu and the like. Shui remembered that when she wanted to fight the top 10 on the ranking list, the teacher agreed, but with the exception of fighting Chu Tiani. The girl is ready to accept any decision Lin makes. She believes in his strength, but Chu Tiani's strength is too great, so she actually has a little doubt. The hero still wants to try, even if he fails, this will allow him to see his weakness. The teacher heard Lin's speech and praised him. He was clearly worthy of being Zhou Shanha's disciple. However, the teacher disappointed the hero. The list of participants has already been published. The university does not want the participants to get involved in some senseless showdowns during the preparatory period. A close friend of the teacher noted that Lin was indeed in reserve. But Zhou did his best to add the hero there. Shui was outraged by this decision and immediately went to her teacher to give her place to Lin Yuan. The hero could not agree to this. He grabbed the girl's hand and stopped her. Zhou said that because of Uncle Wushuan, a hero can only be seen as a victim in the process of fighting. However, Lin thanked the teacher for everything he does for him, asking for only one thing, so that Zhou does not blame himself. Plump stopped the hero. He will try to talk to his father and see if they can put Lin on the official list of participants or not. The hero abandoned this idea. At least this shows that the director did not plan to punch the vice rector in the face. Puffy wanted to open the list and joyfully voice it to the hero, but he saw himself in it. His father really wants to settle Van through his connections. Lin began to reassure his friend. Since the director agreed, he would definitely believe him. Zhou was pleased that for participation in the competition, the university provides resources worth 50 million, including crystallized pills, things that cannot be bought anywhere. When the director was standing in his office and looking out the window, an unknown mystery came in without knocking. Among themselves, they began to discuss all the participants and their strengths. Although Ng doesn't speak like that about anyone, he believes that he is somewhat similar to Lin Yuan. The director was surprised and asked if he would like to take it after the end of the competition. But the mister refused. 
he was not interested in taking on anyone as a student. A few days later, Zhou and his disciples came to the treasury. The old man who accepted the document is the greatest legend. Twenty years ago, he single-handedly blocked the beast tide and hunted emperor-level beasts, after which he saved the entire city. If he had calmly healed his wounds, he could have lived from three to five decades. But now he is simply guarding the treasury. When all of Lin's friends ran away to choose treasures for themselves, he came across a very interesting object. It turned out to be a mini nuclear reactor, which is a device that can support a controlled and self-sustaining chain reaction of nuclear fission. Half an hour later, the teacher asked what the students spent their quota on. Everyone boasted of many expensive artifacts, but Lin only chose a nuclear bomb. Fuliash was scared to death. He really thought that the hero had a bomb in his hands. When Zhou asked the guys what they would do next, everyone answered that they would go to train, even Wang, because he had no other choice. The teacher made an appointment in three days on Friday, in the morning at the school gates, then they will drive to the University of Animals to prepare for the competition. The lizard was surprised by Lin's nuclear reactor. But unfortunately, the hero does not understand how to use it. But the assistant suggested that it is similar to the soul crystal, it is a disposable consumable but the method of use is different. To absorb nuclear energy, the hero will have to absorb in a state of merging the beast and the soul. Three days later, Lin met Wushuan Gu's pitiful group. Lin also finally met Uncle Wushuan. It was he who prevented the hero from getting into the official list of participants. But in the future the hero will definitely take revenge on him. Shui met Lin and ran up to him to say hello, and at the same time introduced him to her teacher. At that moment, Van arrived and even in such clothes, as if he was going on vacation, and not for a competition. And after some time, Chu Tiani appeared, the first on Qianlong's list. When everyone was assembled, the director announced preparations for departure. Before the principal was about to leave, he gave a speech that if students wanted to do well in the National Freshman Friendship Competition, they should pay attention to their own strength. The director asked his son Wang to provide him with a list of all the participants, but the plump guy decided to give him a 20% discount, so to speak, in a family way. From that moment on, Shui and Lin almost died laughing. But Chu Tiani is not interested in a list containing information about defeated opponents. Wan began to read out the list and named almost half of the universities from around the world. The captain of Shuchan University is called Chen Zhushan. He is called Kung Fu Panda. He has studied martial arts since childhood and therefore is fluent in Tai Chi and Wing Chun and the weakest in their team has four stars as a beast master. The gap between this year's top-notch elite institutions and their beast university is not as big as all the students think. Lin did not expect that the power of Xuchuan Beast University would increase so much. They are so strong that the hero considers his strength not worthy of mention in the competition. The captain of Yanjing University is named Chen Longxiang. He possesses the souls of SSS rank ancient barbarian beasts. Their strength reaches 8-star overlord. But the chubby guy decided to surprise everyone even more. Chun is not the cutest on their team. At this moment, even Chu Tiani was horrified by such information. Plump thought it was funny and told everyone that Yanjing University is not ashamed to lose. They can take second place as always. For such words, the father gave what he deserved to his son so that he would realize the full essence of his words. The director was offered Chu Tiani as a candidate for the position of captain of their team. But the vile vice rector sticks his nephew in here too, nominating him as a candidate. So, the director announced Chu Tiani as the captain, Wushuan Gu as the first mate, and Song Lan as the second mate. Xue told Lin that they have three more days to train. She believes that with such talent and abilities, the hero will make a real breakthrough. Then the plump guy came and told Shua that the director would give the girl a training session at the Sauna Health Center. One said that he and his father worked hard all the way, so it would be nice to have this kind of rest before the competition. Lin did not like this news, he thinks that the director has other plans. Shua was angry with the useless chubby guy, she wants to test her strength on him someday. But Lin told her that now the girl is really good. Half an hour after arrival, everyone headed towards the bath and health center. At the entrance, all visitors were greeted by lovely girls. Shui immediately closed the hero's eyes so that he wouldn't look at them. It seems like she's a friend, but she's still jealous. 
a representative of the center would like to make his place available for students to take medicinal baths before the start of the competition. On the second floor of the subway there is a ghostly flower. One bucket of such goodness costs at least 50 million. In just a few minutes, Lin's fatigue disappeared. Now it is no wonder why children from rich families grow up so quickly. In addition to the baths, the director prepared a crystal monster core taken from the Beast King level, Light and Shadow Dragon. After activation of the crystalline core, a comfortable energy field was formed. With just one absorption, Lin has already received 10,000 evolution points, which means that if he absorbs energy from the core for three days, he can get tens of millions of evolution points. Teacher Shui introduced the Bear King's crystal core with a dark and icy ghostly face. The vice-rector also had to give away his crystal core of the shadow crocodile. He gives it to everyone when they meet. Within a few minutes, there were three Beast King rank crystal cores in the medicinal bath. Thanks to the Hinadan that his uncle gave to Wushuan, he will be able to absorb energy in a fairly short period of time. But for example, Chu Tiani copes well without any pills, faster than others. The principal told Zhou that he only pays attention to others, but does not notice his student's result. At first, the teacher thought that Lindsay level talent was so bad that he was unable to absorb Beast King level energy. But when he took a closer look, he realized that his energy absorption rate was too fast. Thus, the hero creates a vacuum around himself. While the vice chancellor was dissatisfied with Lin's energy being so absorbed, Wu Xuan Gu suffered a tragedy. The tragedy appeared at first glance. In fact, Wu Xuan had risen from a five star to a six star beast rank. Wu Xuan was surprised that a genius like Chu Tiani absorbs emperor level energy with his speed and lags behind Gu. Then in this case he is the real chosen one of heaven. But as soon as Wu Xuan looked at Lin, he immediately stopped believing in himself and his strength. Wu Xuan doesn't want to be left behind by the pitiful E-rank soul, so he uses all his power and makes another breakthrough. The vice-rector decided to stop his nephew, he gave him Hinadin so that he could improve his strength and compete with someone. A couple of days later, Zhou asked the hero why he had not leveled up yet, but Lin simply forgot. Having come to his senses, the hero began to absorb everything at once, receiving a 7-star beast but he still has 20 million evolution points in reserve from everyone else. The guys checked into the Yanjin Hotel. It turns out that this hotel was rented by all the participants, in addition to their team. After these words, a team of students from Yanjin University, led by Qinglong Xiang, came in, and behind him stood the strongest member of their team, Su Xiao. Wish one decided to go and greet them. After all, they would have to see them often in the future now. But the captain didn't even look in the direction of Wuswan. It was too low for him to pay attention to the garbage. It turned out that their captain is shy and reserved. Even people from Yanjing can talk to him. At the arena, the guys met an animal that looked like a giant panda. It was Qin Zhushan, the captain of the animal team from Xuchuan University. Nearby is the deputy team at Beihanzi University, Fangqi. The panda has excellent methods of fighting. There are no unnecessary movements. However, the monkey does not think so, that there is something special about this power. The panda decided to change the enemy's decision by using fist fighting techniques. Wearing the highest rank king ranking beast artifact on his paws, the panda can absorb energy and blood from the enemy's body, using it as his fuel. Fan Chi has a secret technique in his arsenal, so he was able to easily get up after a barrage of attacks from the panda. The monkey decides to attack the enemy with incredible speed but she constantly overreacts. While the monkey was thinking about this, the panda suddenly struck and knocked the monkey out. After defeating the monkey, Chen asked who would be able to dare to come on stage to fight him. But who came out and fought him, you will find out in the sequel.